All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, me and Ryan, AG Performance here. Today we're going to be talking about the 2021 Mach 1. That's right. And what we think about it is probably not going to be what you're expecting. <laughs> some things that we like about the mock the new mock and there are some things that we don't like about it so to start off with the negative we want to talk about the design of the mock so the first time we both saw the mock one not gonna lie we were pretty disappointed with what uh, ford has put out that's right yeah i saw it and i immediately thought it was a fake photo um because there's no way that ford would put out something like that it just looked like a uh, what's the word kind of like a gt sticker package in a way it looked like pretty much just a sticker package mm -hmm. there are some little things about the design that just make it out of the ordinary i guess it's should just, i say it's just not unique to the mach 1 name if you look at the car it's got mach 1 written all over it which yeah you would assume it would have because it's a mach 1 but it's just poorly designed you got the mach 1 on the stripe of the hood got the mach 1 on the side and you got the mach 1 right in the center in the back i mean it just it just doesn't look like it's in the right place it's kind of like they they didn't want to come up with any type of new design. It's kind of got a little bit of everything. It looks like it has a GT350 lower bumper and it has 11 to 14 S197 grill fog light. Like it just doesn't make any sense in yeah. my opinion. When I saw the spy shots, I saw two big fog light holes. So I was like, you know, that's pretty cool. Maybe they're going to make some kind of functional design shaker without that's actually having the shaker. That's what I thought, like a, like a more modern design of a Ram Air hood. Exactly. We see a lot of modern cars integrating that feature into the grills and it's everyone loves it. So for Ford not to put something related to that, it's kind of a disappointment. I put out a poll about six days ago asking y'all about the 2021 Mach 1 and these are the results. And it seems like a lot of y'all want the shaker back. Yeah, we do too. Yeah, the shaker was a big problem for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. and. They should have known that there was going to be a big uh, uproar about not having a shaker because of how many people still own Mach 1s. Ford's reasoning for not having the shaker was simple. They said not every Mach 1 that's been produced has had a shaker. So easy cop out right there Ford, yeah, that's just take it away, no questions asked, right? No, we're going to have questions. What was the real reason why you didn't put the shaker on? And I've heard a lot of rumors, I've been doing some research. A lot of people say that they got in a disagreement with pricing on their shakers could possibly be a reason uh, another person said that the aerodynamics would be off and you know again we don't have that answer for you but some of the things that we've been hearing a lot of people do want the shaker the least they could have done is made it optional yep i agree 100 percent. they could have made it an optional part and that would have been just fine with everybody i think so but for the whole design enough about the shaker right the whole design it just looks too much like a GT. You know, they use the same hood as the GT. Nothing's changed. They added a stripe. It's a cool stripe. Um, Mach 1s are known for having stripes, but... Take away the stripes. Take away the stripes, and you can't tell me that it doesn't look just like another GT. If that car would have went down the street without the stripes, I wouldn't have known any different. And yeah, it's the same car. It's a Mustang. It's supposed to look like a Mustang, but look at a GT350. Look at a GT500. Take the stripes off of those cars. Yeah, you'll be able to be like, man, it's a head turner. You're saying something's different about that Mustang than just a regular base or a regular, you know, premium Mustang. And that's, I think, where they dropped the ball. They didn't really make the design pop out enough for Mach 1 guys like us. In an area that they excelled on, which is, this is the positive about the Mach 1, is the performance. A lot of y'all are going to disagree with me saying, what about the performance is pretty much the same thing as you know a bullet the bullet only came in a six-speed manual it didn't come with an automatic trans this new mach 1 not only does it come with a new manual it comes with the 10-speed auto and if y'all know anything about 10-speed auto gts they are something that you do not want to mess with so when you add the 480 horsepower that the mach 1 has plus the 10-speed yeah it's just going to be fast coming out of the gate Whereas the bullet never really had a chance in that in that aspect. Yeah, there's different transmission options, you know, obviously going to be better. You know, we're dogging on this car a lot, just a little things. But at the end of the day, it is going to be a good car. So we talked about the design, which in our opinion, poor design. And we talked about the engine, which we gave a thumbs up. So let's talk about, you know, how you would use this car, right? Uh, what What is this car for? What is this car? Because a lot of people have seen it and they picked out little things like we did, doesn't have a shaker. Oh, it has fog lights now. Oh, what, 
what is this like what is the car is is it marketed towards being a track car or a drag car what is it you know so ford is marketing this car to be one of the most track equipped mustangs that they've ever came out with sounds kind of uh familiar you know they said that about gt350 and then the gt500 came out which to us sounds like full out drag car mm -hmm. not necessarily made for the track and they said that car was going to be the best handling track car i just said whenever the gt500 came out a lot of us were expecting horsepower and then going down the drag strip but whenever they marketed it to be a track car a lot of it kind of turned a lot of us off um just traditionally you're not going to have a twin screw supercharger on top of a heavy body to go track racing um and and typically you don't track race mustangs you just if you're real serious about it yeah you don't typically track race mustangs i know people do it but there's so many more cars out there that are so much better equipped for the track so like i said what is this car you know marketed for well this mach 1 yeah it's marketed for the track so let's go to our closest track right let's let's put a picture of our local track on the screen yeah like i said it's a drag strip we're freaking americans we don't track race we're not we don't we don't track race over here we want to drag race so in my opinion ford is just telling all the drag racers forget about y'all we're gonna cater to the track racers um which is a complete slap in the face to us yeah you can still go out and drag race you know your mach 1 your gt but it's really not made for that in ford's eyes and ford just needs to wake up and give us a drag oriented mustang i mean how hard is it you know dodge did it in my opinion i think this is what we should be doing to ford right here hey, it's me, America. you have speed by macchiato so obviously we've been kind of rambling here about different things but uh our overall view of the mach 1 we like it it's just it could have been better we got the advantage of reviewing this car a couple weeks after it was released so we didn't hop on the hype train and make a video about it we wanted to kind of analyze it a little bit after the fact um, because we do own a mach 1 so we want to give it the best chance it can get um, because we can't drive the car right now but just looking at it they could have done a lot better they could have given everybody the shaker that they wanted and i don't think they would have had any problems with the appearance whatsoever we can definitely go on forever about the mach 1 but i think that kind of captures our view on it so let us know down in the comments what y'all think do you agree with us do you disagree if you like the video obviously like the video and if you aren't subscribed go ahead and subscribe but yeah it's good talking to you guys about the 2021 mach 1 we'll catch you on the next one see you later